It's vivid, violent, and proudly made in Chicago. Drill Rap took off in 2012, the year the FBI named Chi-Town America's most dangerous city. Its founding father, Chief Keith. Now, from the Windy City to London, where YouTube removed 30 videos at the request of Metropolitan Police who found they incited violence, this exploding musical genre is accused of sending violence spilling from the speakers to the street. I've listened to enough drill music to find little sort of uh, redeeming value in terms of uh, the narrative of life. Um, as it is uh, unfolding in the, the streets of America, other than reflecting this sort of wanton violence that um, inflicts permanent solutions for temporary problems. And that solution most often is death. For many drill rappers, life imitates art. Lil Jojo and Jay Loud were gunned down in 2012, King Louis in 2015, and the list goes on. Here in the birthplace of drill rap, where 3,500 people were shot and 650 killed last year, even some fans say the music fuels the fury on the street. Oh yeah, it's called violence. It's what, like, say if they say something and they song, oh yeah, we, we ready. We are influenced people. Say thing if I'm listening to somebody rapping like, yeah, I load up the Glock and I'm off so much drugs and I got somebody who don't like me, yeah, and I'm riding around with a tool on me, I'm, I'm going to end up, you feel me? killing that boy, you feel me? Just by listening to that music, pumping me up. Here on Chicago's South Side, where drill rap began, people say the violence was here long before rappers started talking about it. The reality is in Chicago, uh, we have so many homicides and shootings every year. And uh, it's been this way for the last 20 or 30 years. A lot of guys, they roam the streets of Chicago, mainly the South Side of Chicago. That's their experience. That's why it happened here in Chicago. For critics of the city's latest export, the key is letting the videos go viral and not the violence. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Chicago.